Only music in my car is just the AC And I hate it when we start just like my six feet Know you're clutching hands and feet like how I switch gears Only difference is I'm silent, you hold back to Hey y'all, it's Angel and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel I am a creative with a deep, deep affinity for all things wellness And I'm just here to share my journey and hopefully inspire you to, you know, jump into yours So today we're doing all things earthy I'm a bit of a sustainability girl, a little bit, and along my journey, I've picked up a few things that have kind of helped me allow myself to feel as though I'm putting the earth and its vitality and its perpetuity at the front of my actions. That was a lot. That was a loaded, loaded response. Today, we're going to get earthy. Like I said before, we're going to get our hands in the dirt. We're going to do things. I think I'm going to do some composting and listen, it's well overdue. You'll see. We really, we have a community garden that we go to that we drop off our compost. So that's really a blessing. And it's allowed our composting experience to be a lot more seamless. Um, I'm probably going to repant some of my plants. I have a lot of plants around my place that are overdue for attention. They're literally crying and screaming at me every day. Change my soil. Do better. Every time I walk by and I'm just like, I got you. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm literally looking at one right now and it's, it's pleading. I got you. I got you, boo. I'm, I'm, I'll see what else. Like, what other earthy things could I do today? We'll figure it out along the way. But this is going to be like a little daily vlog. And um, let's get into it. So, like I said, please excuse my neighbor's dog. Um, as soon as I push record on the camera, she wants to be seen and heard. So, anywho, I told y'all don't judge me. Please don't. This is all of the compost so if, if you're if you're not familiar with composting let me just give you a quick quick little rundown so these are consider your browns you have four components you have your carbons your nitrogen your water and your air right oxygen of course so this is going to be considered your browns and browns are usually like paper products um napkins compostable materials um, egg crates, some, car um, excuse me, some like cardboard items. And those are gonna be your cards, that's gonna be your cards. Signs, signs that we need to spend more time. All right, so next up are our nitrogens. Are our nitrogens. <laughs> so we do not have the best storage system for um, our, our greens, which is the more nickname of, of that aspect of um, composting and honestly we do the freezer method so when whatever scraps or produce that sees you know its end in our refrigerator we put into the freezer now we usually just put in grocery bags i really am looking for a more efficient organized way to do this but this is what works for my little household and you know we're gonna keep it moving so these are basically the greens and supposedly i believe it's 30 to 1 so 30 percent um, nitrogens to one to one carbon i believe that's the ratio but don't quote me girl honestly i just throw it in there and just do what it do but yeah we're gonna get this out of here and this is just scraps so the greens represent like non-meat items right so we're talking veggies we're talking um, eggshells, coffee grounds. Those are the items that are included in the green category. Um, that could also be lawn clippings as well, um, grass. And I also didn't include that in the browns that could be like branches and things of that nature. So kind of go with the color to kind of give you an idea of what it is. And we're gonna get this out of here because it's just looking disgusting. It was simpler in summertime. All right, so I'm out here at the garden, y'all. I would give y'all a tour. So the community garden is about like two blocks up from my house. Um, I live in Atlanta and um, I would give y'all a tour, but honestly, I think our lead gardener has decided to take the season off. Probably to let the land rest, I get it. Um, so it kind of looks a mess, but right now I'm gonna go, this is basically our composting bin. Yeah, it needs some some tending to, so I'm gonna do that and um, check back in with y'all after, all right? Okay, so this is what it looks like pre-mix. I've dropped my browns and my greens in here. It also rained quite a bit this week, so 
it should be kind of wet underneath this top layer. So that should be the water. And of course we naturally got the oxygen. And so I'm gonna give this a good mixing. And if there's a little water over here, I'll pour it on there. Um, but yeah, this is, look at all this produce. Now this is months, so let me be clear. This is months of produce of like scraps and things that went bad in our refrigerator. I just believe this is a much more sustainable way to deal with produce waste. I know a lot of us deal with it. Um, and it's better to end up here in a compost where it can go back to earth than in a landfill where it's creating all kinds of um, fumes and carbon emissions and things of that nature. So that's where the gold is. We just wanna get everything mixed in with that. And honestly, I'm covered head to toe like this because I don't know how the mosquitoes are in the areas that y'all are in, but here in Atlanta, they're out for blood. I mean, literally and figuratively. Like one time I left here and I think there was a bite on the back of my ear and I'm like, I'm literally covered from head to toe. How did you find the back of my ear? So I gotta stay covered because they don't play in GA, they don't. All right, so I am back at home. I have completely worked up an appetite. Um, so I don't know how earthy this is gonna be, but I, well, I guess it is. I'll do an earth-friendly breakfast, which is basically just a plant-based plant -based breakfast. Um, I'm gonna do my little spin on avocado toast. I usually do it with a bagel. And um, I am not, I consider myself a flexitarian as far as my diet goes. I eat what my body calls me to eat. Um, but since this is just like a, you know, a sustainable, earth-friendly vlog, I'll do something that's a little more catered towards that. Um, and I like to fancy mine up a little bit. I like presentation. Who doesn't? Who doesn't, right? So y'all, my camera, <laughs> whoo, Lord. Um, my camera had reached its storage capacity while I was assembling this. So y'all caught the beginning and the tail end. But let me just tell y'all real quick what's on here. So it's a everything bagel with avocado. Um, I added like lemon, salt, pepper. Um, then I put a fried egg. So that's what you see right there. Then I did tomato on top, arugula. Um, I did some, I did some pickled onions, pickled red onions, topped with sriracha and some sesame seeds. And that is my plant-based earth-friendly breakfast. <laughs> Chalk until my ego heart is racing And your smile's looking weaker than my patience In the tremble of your words I hear frustration But you know I hate myself for the same reason I can tell I'm half of that guy, guy, guy I was when you first started to cry, cry, cry I can feel the chill in my spine, spine, spine 
Just knowing that a part of me died It was simpler in summertime 2016 When the sky was burning We was talking about dreams and the future Conversations in my backseat Jameson and caffeine Secrets kept in between Between us Between us no. All right, so I'm in my car now. I was able to get not all of the plants that I wanted to get repotted, but definitely, my bad y'all. I don't know why I got my AC on. Not all of the plants that I wanted to get repotted, but definitely the ones that were in desperate need for attention. So right now, um, you know, I said I was gonna figure this thing out as we go. And I realized I had just sorted through some clothes and that is another earthy girl moment, <laughs> sustainability moment. So I have, I don't know if you can see back here. I'll, I'll just insert a video. I have some, I have about five or six bags of clothing that I no longer wear or care to own. And then I have a few bags of clothing that was not in high enough quality to donate to a um, Goodwill or a, you know, a resale shop. And they're gonna be going to like a recycle, recycling bin that's specifically for clothing and shoes. So. I think that's just a really easy way instead of throwing clothes away you know try to find a bend around you i just drove around and found one in the neighborhood i'm sure you could do the same or google google's our best friend she's our girl she'll definitely get you what you need to get okay so this is the one that i found um it's clothes and shoes green zone and you can find i guess other locations at www.gzrusa.com but you can recycle clothing, shoes, and other fabric materials here. <laughs> and that does it, y'all. That is my time of getting earthy. I hope y'all learned a little bit about composting, um, a little bit of how you can be sustainable in your day-to-day, -day, and just overall keep the earth in mind. You know, she serves us in a really good way. And if you guys enjoyed this type of content, please, please let me know below in the comments. And I would love if you all could share one way that you're being sustainable. I love, love, love interacting with you all and getting some inspiration for my day to day. So that's just me putting the plants that I planted in their place and then enjoying a little meal for the end of the day. Thank you all so much for watching this. I love y'all. Stay grounded. Stay growing. See you in the next video.